Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you're the first time here, my name is Raul. I live in the UK, I'm a truck driver and I've decided to turn this Sprinter van into a camper van. Now, before you get started, I would like to say that I've got no experience working, working with wood, working with a lot of tools, working with any sort of DIY that I've actually ever done was just uh, mounting furniture from Ikea and that's about it. So any suggestions are very much welcome <laughs> throughout this series will be much appreciated, definitely. Um, there are three YouTube channels that um, I'm constantly looking at how other people are doing it. Um, one of them is, of course, the guru Greg Virgo. I'm going to link his channel into the description. Now, the way he explains stuff is just absolutely mind-boggling. He knows so much, uh, and if you're going to do anything related to electrics, insulation and all that stuff, you should visit his channel because he explains it so well. He really, really knows his stuff. So that's where I get all my information. Now, this printer is going to be much more simpler. I'm, I will put solar panels on it, but I'm not going to do um, a lot of uh, switches on the lights and stuff. I want to keep it as simple as possible and I want to do things that I know I could do. So I'm not trying to overcomplicate anything because playing with um, gas, for example, or electricity, um, you can really screw it up and you can really burn down your van. Another channel that I constantly visit, it's um, Mel's Big Van Small World. Now, once again, tons of information in there. I would link his channel into this description so you can go and check it out. So these are the two channels that I get inspired from. So I've bought this van a couple of weeks ago uh, with £3,000. Now, prices on the Sprinter vans went up really, really dramatic during the last year or so. Uh, this is a 2011 long wheelbase Sprinter van. It has around 250 thousand miles on the clock um, and yeah at that price I would expect problems um, and they are, they are not late to show up um, got tons of, of problems already uh, one of the problems was uh, the EGR so when I took the van I was heading home already with it and on the motorway the uh, the check engine light went on I called the guy who went straight over there was a garage nearby and said, look, let's just put it on a tester, see how it goes. Uh, we hooked it on the, on the computer. The EGR popped up as, a, as an error. Um, the, uh, the turbo was already, the engine was in limp mode. Um, so he said, look, um, let's leave the van here. We will put a new EGR on it and you can just drive it away. I was like, yeah, okay, makes sense. Uh, so we did that. I, waste, uh, I waited, I think, about two weeks for the, uh, for the guys to have time to change it. So they, they've changed it um, and everything was okay for about one day or two. Uh, then I started the van and immediately it went into link mode again. Um, and now I've got the same error, EGR. Uh, in an, an EGI era uh, and I'm waiting for, for a garage to, uh, to call me in to do some more investigation. So leaving the uh, mechanical part out of the way, I'm just going to start doing what I can do in the back. Um, the weather, it's horrible. It's raining almost every day. Now we've got maybe a couple of hours to spare so I can do some work finally. Um, but uh, I'll let you know what's going to happen on the engine part throughout this video or the next ones.
gonna do now is basically just start stripping everything apart the headboard all the floor there is a step right here it's screwed down I'm just gonna strip everything as much as I can and uh, see what's underneath hopefully will be no rust Right, so in the last couple of days progress was slow but um, I did manage to do something I managed to uh, remove the uh, the bulkhead I've unscrewed all the uh, the bolts from the floor uh, I've removed the uh, the step right here fair amount of um, of rust but I'm just gonna hammer it. Um, of course, clean it up first and then hammer it really well. So we won't we all have uh, trouble in the future. Um, I did manage to um, to damage a couple of screws, so um, because they were just absolutely stuck, I couldn't get them off. So I had to drill through the screw to uh, to take them off. Um, so plenty of work in the last couple of days, uh, and uh, I was just uh, getting ready to um, to go to work. Um, and I didn't feel well that morning. I was like, you know what? Let's let's just uh, take a test, a COVID test, just to be sure, because I'm going uh, I'm going to work, and I don't want to uh, to get other people sick as well. So I did a test, and um, yeah, it turned out positive. Uh, so um, now I've got COVID. Um, the whole whole family has COVID. Myself, my wife Alice my five years old uh, son, Edward. Uh, so yeah, we are, we're all positive. We have to um, self-isolate for 10 days, which is really, really frustrating because us truck drivers right now, um, around Christmas times, we really earn a fair decent amount of money and uh, to, be, to be stuck home for 10 days, I'm losing a lot a lot of money but um, it is what it is uh, we do feel fine we only had symptoms for probably the uh, the first two days but now we are absolutely fine i don't have uh, any taste of smell or uh, but that's about it we are we are fine <laughs> um we're just gonna hang around outside while uh, while the sun is up so for the last, I would say, two hours, I'm struggling to, uh, to get the, uh, the back doors open. They are stuck. Uh, and it's, 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 it's a mechanism that I just, I've got no idea how it works. I've been trying to look online. I've been trying to look on, on Reddit, on forums, on YouTube. And all I can see, all I can hear is that there, are, there should be cables, so um, there should be a cable right here for the bottom lock and there's one cable for the top lock. Now I've managed to unlock the top one, it's really easy, it's just a cable, you just pull it out and that's it. But the bottom one, I've got no idea how to open it and it's so frustrating. So that's what I've been doing for the last two hours. Um, I can't get a specialist here because of COVID, because I've got COVID. I can't go anywhere because I've got COVID. Um, and I just feel that I'm one step closer to burning down the whole van. It's so frustrating, especially when you don't know what you're doing. You're stuck on something just it seems so easy, so just like a common thing and you're stuck there and I'm stuck here for at least two hours. I can't do any work because of this. Uh. I think, um, yeah, 
these are the realities of, of building a van. Small things like this can, can really drive you crazy.